Good morning, kids. I'm getting ready to make some roasted potatoes and eggs for breakfast this morning. And as I dumped my bag of potatoes onto the counter to begin cutting up the potatoes, I came across this one potato that has like all these little divots and, and funky marks in it and the colors off from the rest of them. And I began to think about when my kids were younger and they would help me cook. If we were making something with potatoes and they came across a potato like this one with all its flaws, my kids would be like, ew, gross, and then try to throw it away. But I would still choose to use that potato, just as I choose to use this potato for my plans of making roasted potatoes, even though it has all these flaws. As I choose this potato with all its flaws, it made me think of a couple of Bible verses in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Peter is talking to the Gentiles in these Bible verses. The Gentiles were all different kinds of people that were not Israelites. And the Israelites were God's chosen people. They had a special relationship with God. But once Jesus came and died for everyone's sins, those who believe in Jesus then live their lives in the light of Jesus. They have that special relationship now too. Those who believe in Jesus now are a part of the chosen ones. They are chosen to be a part of God's family they become children of God. They are chosen to be a part of God's plans. As a child of God, we are to go out and make disciples. And that means that we are to go out and teach others about the gift of Jesus, to pray for them and with them and help them with their walk with Jesus. As a child of God, we're to take care of others. Whether it is a homeless person or your neighbor who needs help with yard work, as God's chosen children, we are to pray for others, our family, our country, the leaders of our country, the other kids in school, no matter who they are and no matter how differently they think. As children of God, we are to show the same mercy for others as Jesus did for us. Mercy is when someone shows compassion and forgiveness for, to someone else. And we received mercy, forgiveness, and compassion from Jesus even though we didn't really deserve it because we are sinful and flawed like this potato but he loved us and had mercy for us anyway we are to have that same mercy for others and you may be thinking about Miss April you don't know some of those guys at school they think that the Eagles are the best football team and they argue with the guys who think that the Giants are the best but best football team and they become be kind of pushy and mean about it it is okay to think differently about things. Because we think differently on who is the best football team, that doesn't mean we don't continue to love and pray for someone. As believers in Jesus, we are chosen. We become God's special possession, his children, even though we are all flawed potatoes. Just as I handpicked this potato to be a part of my plans of making roasted potatoes, God has handpicked you to be a part of his plans of being a part of his family, to go and share the gift of Jesus with others, to show that same mercy Jesus has for you to others, to love others even though they are a flawed potato, to be a part of building his kingdom in heaven. So this week's memory verse is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 10. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And remember that you are a chosen child of God and have that same mercy that Jesus has for you for others.